What is good, YouTube? <laughs> Welcome back to G and J's world. It's your girl Jayla, and <laughs> I have a surprise for you guys. I've walked around the house saying thank you, Jesus, all day. Oh my God, because I'm pregnant. Yep, I'm pregnant. Hey, babe. No, no, come here, come here. It's a surprise. Go look in the oven. Go look in the oven. Hurry up. What's in the oven, babe? I'm gonna take the paper towel. What is it? It's bread. <laughs> it's a bun, babe. What? Look behind the bun. It's a bun. It's a bun. Do you? Okay, and where is it at? Are you pregnant? Yes! I'm pregnant! Mm. <laughs> Bun in the oven! Pregnant! I'm pregnant! You what? I'm pregnant! I'm not, no, I'm seriously. That's a real pregnancy test. I didn't Why even know. Faded? Because remember the other one was faded. But then I took an I took a digital one and what? it said pregnant. I'm yeah. pregnant! I don't got one, that's the last one left. No, no, seriously. No, I'm not capping for real. Yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, oh shit! Yes, baby, I'm pregnant. And you know what's crazy? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey you guys, welcome back to g and J's world. It's your girl Jayla. And today I just wanted to give you guys a pregnancy update because Soraya is making her appearance um, less than a week from now. So <laughs> she's planning on making her arrival uh, six days from now. Let me tell y'all, this has been, <laughs> this has been the longest like, this has been the longest, shortest pregnancy in my entire life. This is my first eating it, but still, I'm, I'm really excited. Like, I can't believe I'm a whole mother out here. Like, I already, like, it was crazy already just, you know, like with GD3, but you know, when you carry it on, it's, it's crazier. So it's just like, dang. I'm just so surreal, like, honestly. Like, I keep talking to friends about their birth story and stuff like that. Some of them are like hiding stuff from me. Some of them don't want to tell me, so I'm just like, so. It's just something I got experience on my own. Really, I plan on going natural. I don't think I'm, I'm, I don't think I want to do ever do or anything like that. I'll do whatever I have to. How about that? I'll do whatever I have to. I'm going in here with a really good mindset. <laughs> but I know everything changes, you know, when it's time to start pushing when you're in labor and stuff like that. So, give y'all a good look at the stomach. So she's out there. Y'all excuse the mess um actually just moved into a new two bedroom um as we did not tell you guys but we did vlog it but we just never um we did tell you guys but we never posted it we vlogged it we never posted it that um we moved out of our two bedroom we moved with my parents for long story short back in a two bedroom i moved into a two bedroom um so we are still in the process for moving our stuff in so and I'm <laughs> I was just talking just fine and now I'm out of breath um so I'm already preparing Soraya's room the rest of her stuff isn't even here yet the rest of her stuff is um actually in the trunk of my car I'm waiting for her dad to get here tomorrow I'm waiting for Greg to get here tomorrow and um her first piggy bank given to her by her godmother and her godfather um, this is her dirty clothes hamper. Like I said, like, I only have some of her stuff in the house right now, but, um, the rest of the stuff is in the back seat of my car, 
and um, at my parents' house. And they'll be bringing that down tomorrow along with the rest of our housing stuff. Our room is kind of messy. I set up a, um, what do you call it? I set up an air mattress and my sis, my big sis, um, Soraya's got mom. She put the sheets on and helped me. There's her little bassinet. Like I said, like it's just something. My hospital bag, I'm packing my hospital bag and there's Soraya's hospital bag. Her, her bag has been packed for like a month. I've been got her stuff ready because I'm so excited. So yeah, we are moved in, kind of new and improved. And it's on the first level, so nobody's gonna have to climb stairs anymore, nothing like that. And I especially don't need stair climbing in my life right now. I don't. This is this is totally perfect. I can just walk straight into my. They don't have to stop that. that. That's really like a quick update on the apartment and stuff like that and the baby. Um, I'm just gonna sit down and answer some questions for you guys as well, really quick about the pregnancy. Some questions that everybody's been asking me that people keep asking me, so I'm just gonna put it out there in the world for everybody that knows, so I don't keep getting asked some questions. Do you plan on breastfeeding? I do plan on breastfeeding, but at the same time, it's like, I know um, sometimes when you first have the baby, they don't latch right away. So I plan on, if, if you know she doesn't latch right away or anything, or if I'm not producing enough, then I'm just gonna take the doctor's orders from that point, but I do have formula ready. I'm gonna start with Similac. Similac. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have formula ready just in case. How does it feel? You look huge. <laughs> um, I, I feel I feel regular. Sometimes I forget that I have like a huge belly in front of me. Sometimes I forget that because like regular stuff that I wanna that I wanna do, I forget that I can't because I'm pregnant. But because I have this big this big baby in front of me. Um, but I mean, you kind of, your body kind of adjusts throughout pregnancy, so I guess it feels normal. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I can't say that I am ready, I can't say that I'm not ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be because when she starts, when she starts coming, that's it. But I do have her stuff ready. So in most terms, I can say that I am ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. When did you start having contractions? Shoot, I started having my contractions kind of early. I think I was 29 weeks when I started having my contractions. 29, 20, yeah, 20 something weeks when I started having contractions. And then um, when I hit around like 32 weeks, I started having like really, 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 really strong Braxton Hicks. So I started, I was, I've been having contractions. Boy or girl? Okay, I forgot. Some of you know, already that it's a girl but um yes it's a girl will you be no will you be having any more soon no <laughs> no no I, I don't i don't plan on having any more for a while i have gb3 and have to ride um one one alone was enough and then so i came so really really enough so but it's an adjustment that that I'm glad that I was able to make and that I'm making the best way that I can. So, no, no more kids for right now. How do you spell slash pronounce the baby's name? So it's Soraya Amore Bronson. Soraya, S-E-R-A-Y-A-H, Amore, A-M-O-R, Bronson. Did you have a baby shower or a photo shoot? Got me disappointed. I didn't have neither. I didn't have neither. I didn't. I didn't have a baby shower or a photo shoot. Um, I really don't want to get into the nitty gritty of like why I didn't have a baby shower, why I didn't have a photo shoot. I'm still trying to do like a mini little photo shoot, you know. Um, but I mean, if that doesn't get done, I was gonna do like a plaster um, thing, um, like a plaster cast, a pregnancy cast. No, but um, no. The reason why I didn't have a baby shower was because it just it was just a lot going on, and by the time I was trying to plan it, it's like I wasn't in the position that I wanted to be in, so I was focusing on a lot of other things, amongst other things, while amongst. Trying to focus on 
place where would be the best environment for Soraya while I'm not necessarily in my own environment. And I wasn't in my own environment for most. Um, my whole, pre I mean, our, our, my whole pregnancy, we weren't in our own environment. So now that I am, it's like I can do a lot of things the way that I want it to be done. Um, but a baby shower was just really, it just became really complicated and I just didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to do it anymore. I say, you know what, forget it. I even, I even wanted to do a Zoom at some point and I was just like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll try and do a Zoom and I was going to let my grandmother and my mother plan that. Um, but push came to shove, I just didn't want it anymore. It's just like too much, too much going on. So, I mean, that's really all the questions that everybody really had. Everybody's asked me all the stuff that they wanted to ask me, like, do you have a doctor ready? All this and that, do you have a pediatrician ready? I had a brain block. I thought I didn't have a pediatrician ready. So that's why you guys, that's why you guys haven't been seeing any photos on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Facebook, on anywhere really of me in a maternity photo shoot or me and Gregor in our maternity photo shoot or anything in that matter because it's just been a lot going on and I just could not find the time to fit that in but who said it had to be anything crazy so I'm probably gonna put something small together here at my two bedroom probably shoot it inside if it's raining the rise colors from the room and stuff like that is like pink and gold and with like a dash of like for like some of her furniture. But um my colors are like um, like I said in the beginning, she's literally due in six days. That is her due date. But she's due on her own time, but her due date is six days from now. Literally from today, July the second. Her due date is July the eighth. I already lost like I today I lost a little bit of my um my plug. And I was at the store when I realized that, so I'm like, <laughs> and I was packing the stuff. <laughs> I was getting stuff from my hospital bag. I was at Aldi, and I was getting stuff from my hospital bag, and I, went, I had to go to the bathroom first, and I realized, I was like, oh, crap. I was like, I need to sit down. It's like, I want to sit down, but I want her to come out, because they're talking about some, they're gonna induce me um, if I'm over 41 weeks. This has been such a journey. This has been such a journey. This is crazy. This is so crazy. But I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your mommy and daddy, grandma and grandpappy, your great grandmommy, great granddaddy, your aunt and uncle, because we will be back to posting videos. Um, not sure. I'm not sure how often we're gonna be going back to posting videos, but you you guys will see more of us. Sorry that we've been going through things and that we just been MIA. So yeah, love you guys, Mwah. bye. Hey you guys, so it's day two. Um, Last night, I didn't get to record my contractions, but your girl was struggling. I was in pain. I started crying a little bit. I don't know why. I teared up. I said, oh my God. This is a lot. I'm not talking to with it, though. Basically, Right now, I think I'm trying to induce my own life. To the point where I can feel my pelvis opening, and I feel it in my butt, and I can really feel it in my hips. <sighs> and I can bear the pain. It's just like, dang. Because we let that two kids, naturally, one way she induced her labor was eating pineapple. Rather than sitting there and doing squats, then I'll feel more like I'm gonna go into labor. It is. It's 12. 
Um, it's almost 12 o'clock. We got the rest of our stuff moving today. We're gonna um, organize everything. I don't wanna show you guys a messy place. I, I don't know why I get out of breath. Whenever I gotta talk to the camera, when everything is put together and stuff, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. But um, I will continue to keep you guys posted on my labor inducement. So I only get like, four pieces of pineapple. I'm only supposed to eat the whole pineapple. That's probably what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna take a shower first, and then I'm gonna settle in, then I'm gonna get my pineapple. I did not want to be in labor or at the hospital while my hair is looking peasy like this. Jesus, have mercy. Oh, something told me to do your hair, Jayla. Do your hair. Nope. But it's okay. Because my sister in law coming through with the hair products. So I'll be able to do my hair after I have the baby. But yeah, we're. Oh God, this is so terrible. I'm so sorry, you guys. But see here being monitored. It's crazy because my water broke and I'm still leaking, but I'm one to two centimeters dilated. So they're gonna go ahead and get get me to um to uh try and labor myself some more. So like try and go into labor because I'm worried like if I keep losing fluid or if I keep leaking, you know, and it's like uh, I don't want to have you know what I'm saying dry pregnancy so I'll keep you guys posted um, what time is it? Things like 
like so like contractions have picked up from a two or three now they feel like a five so they might not even have to do the tonsil process if I can breathe through my contractions they may recommend that that I go ahead and throw my feet without the upper door without the tonsil So contractions have um, picked up a whole lot. <laughs> They've, um, they're not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. That's one thing I was actually scared of, not being the contractions. But what I'm really, really scared of now is pushing the baby out. That thing would be fine. I'm just breathe and push. I'm just rubbing them and make me breathe in. Um, Greg went to go eat breakfast. I told him to just go ahead and go eat. So, I just been feeling I got double blankets. I might go ahead and try and take another little nap. Um, because the contractions get with me up here too. So, I'm going to take a power nap. And then, um, I'm going to try and go ahead and move this baby on out. I dilated a little bit more. So, yeah, we're going to see y'all. Uh, Everything goes. I'm so excited to meet you guys. I'm really so excited to meet my little Pookie. <laughs> I really am. <sighs> She's gonna be so cute. <laughs> okay, so right now I am currently dialed at four centimeters. But I'm about to call her back in here and tell her to check me again. Because that was like 20, 30 minutes ago. But I feel like I'm not letting fit. We well, gotta wait, bruh. I'm in so much pain, bruh. This don't make no sense. I'm only four centimeters. <sighs> on four? Yeah. With the four already? Yeah, she came here and she said I'm four. Mm hmm. You know what You're about to throw that mother out. Thanks,
See her little head. Oh god. The first breastfeed was like an hour long. And then the second one wasn't that long. And now this is the third. And oh Lord knows my nipples hurt already. She won't suck on the other one. It's her favorite one, so I have to just pump and pop feed. show you all her face when she's you know it's like this and now it's like she is she is so cute she's so precious oh my goodness and it's so funny because when she goes to sleep like she likes to fall asleep with the herb with the nipple in her mouth oh it's not her mouth and then she'll wake up and fuck up oh yeah my nipples are I can't I can't do it really I'm gonna have to pump. Look at this. And I was gonna finish eating my wing stuff. See? I was gonna finish eating my stuff.